Hi all, Dan here. Uh, so I'm recording this because hopefully right now I'm out on the trail with my trail family. That wasn't an easy decision to decide whether we were going to go or not. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background information. We'll tell you a little bit about that, what, what it took to come up with that decision. Should we go out or should we stay at home? So each year, every single summer, I take a trip out on the trail. Um, I usually generally go to the Sierra Nevada mountains here in California and we've got a group of five solid people. They're fast, dear friends. The dynamics of our group is that I generally, this is my personality, I'm a planner. So generally I'm planning the trip and I, I'm coming up with some of the logistics, but it's not my trip, right? This is not Dan's trip. This is all of our trip. If it was a different dynamic, right? If it was my trip, and you're, you're coming on my trip, then what I decide goes, right? And you decide if you're in, or in on that or not. So we had a pretty epic trip planned for Sequoia National Park, going from Sequoia all the way down to Mineral King, and it was going to be, we planned that maybe 10 months ago. Uh, COVID reared its ugly head, and the reality of it set in after a while, and it, it took a while for that reality to, to sink in, right? At some point you think, well, by summertime it'll be fine. Well, you know, at, at this point, well, no. And what's really fascinating, fascinating, interesting is that it keeps changing, right? So we're in another upswing here in California right now as of July of 2020. Uh, I don't know. You know, those, those, are, those are things that's everything's so fluid and so dynamic. Now, I need to say one thing, and I wanna, I'm going to reiterate this at the end, is there is no right answer. There's a right answer for you. And there's a right answer for me. And as long as you take some, some, uh, things into consideration, that absolutely holds true. I feel that absolutely holds true. So I'm just going to preface that. I asked my friends to record clips on their thought process. And I was going to stitch those together and edit those. And after I got the third one, I realized this is really personal. To that end, I realized that that isn't right. I'm asking them to expose too much of them, their interpersonal, to spill their guts, right, to the internet. So um, I'm just doing this. Here's here's a couple things that that um, before I go into my decision process. That uh, number one was it took a little while, but we realized that COVID-19 would impact our trip, right, and. You know, there's it's probably those seven stages of, of uh, grief. It's a little, probably a little bit of that one. So maybe a little bit of bargain, but we re eventually we realized, yes, indeed, it would impact our trip. And then the second thing we did is we started discussing what a trip would look like if we went out. So that was a big step, right, to realize that maybe we won't go out on the trail. Um, so if we go out, what does it look like? And this was our interpersonal negotiation amongst everybody in the group. You know, what's, what's your... Uh, trip killer. If we do it this way, absolutely I'm out. But if we did it this way, I'm okay. And we, ha we had that back and forth. So we would discuss that impact amongst ourselves, amongst our trail family, our group. And then we leave and we come back and talk with our home, our home group, our home family, have a discussion with them. Are you okay with if, if I did this, would you be okay? And what would the impact be on you? Uh, and then we would come back and we regroup and we would kind of do this back and forth. But we also had the what's going to impact the being the impact on on our trail family on that immediate immediate people going in the group. What's going to be the impact on our extended family? And, you know, I've got some aging parents. You know, what's what's the potential impact on them? And then what's the impact on people we might run across all, along on the trail, either on our travels to the trailhead? Um, the rangers, people on the trail, people at the gas station, all those things. We had to consider all of those. We don't have to, but we, we did consider all of those. So we'd take that time, we'd go back and reflect. And there was a lot, there really was a lot of personal decision. And I think this is where I think for me, where it got super personal for each of us, right? Was the, why do I want to hike? What do I want out of it? Do I want, you know, what, what are the various reasons that you go out? And for many of us, it was, or maybe all of us, is it's this interpersonal connection. Um, but at what cost? You know, it's 
maybe there's a cost, there's always an increased risk. Hopefully it's a diminished, a, a, a smaller decreased risk. Then we all came to some sort of a decision, right? And that was not a, a unanimous decision, but it was a bit of a decision. Here's the end result. Here's what our trip looks like. So number one, yes, we are going on a trip. I'm out. Um, four of the five of our trail family are going out. Turns out that just last week, um, my brother decided, no, this is not the right decision for me. He was in up until this point and he sat down and had some, did some more reflection. Like, no, this is not right. We're, we got to respect that. Right. And I got to respect it even more. Not, I got to respect. I absolutely respect that he's being true to himself. He knows what's right for him or he knows, he knows the decision he needs to make for himself. Um, the second thing we did is we changed the location of our trip. Originally, we were going to go to Sequoia National Park. National Park. Lots of people. So we changed that. Um, brought it into a slightly closer location. We aren't going to travel quite as much. We're still traveling, though. Um, that's a, a real challenge here in California. So a couple criteria for a week-long backpacking trip. Number one, anyone in dry climates knows you need water. So desert trips are one, maybe two nights. Uh, so you need water. Um, the second thing is I want to make sure it's not near a crap ton of people. So removed from people. Well, that puts Los Angeles area out. Uh, it can't be too hot and it needs to be within driving distance. Wow, that, that was really challenging. I spent two weeks scouring maps trying to string together five to seven days with water, and as a marginal number of people, it was generally it was going to be more people than I wanted, um, didn't work. So we're still going to the Sierras. The other thing we decided, the third thing we decided was we're going straight in. So typically our MO is to have a travel day, um, car camp for the night, and then get an early start the next morning. We're not doing that. We're going to travel in and the place where we're going, it's eight, we're able to hike in three miles, set up camp. So we're go, we'll go right from our car out to the trail, minimal exposure to people. On the return, we're doing the same thing, no car camp. And our luxury is we'll often do a hotel stay. We'll come out late in the afternoon, have a hotel, hotel stay, have a nice luxurious dinner, you know, that's that whatever it is you've been craving on the trail. You know, you have that at a sit-down restaurant, maybe even have a beer, like, oh, this is wonderful. Go back, you take another, a second shower at the hotel, and then you get up the next morning and travel back. No, not doing that either. And we also decided we're not going to do a, a shower, um, but it's a long time to be stinky, sweaty, uh, and that's probably the, the favorite thing coming out. So we're going to do a, uh, essentially a, a creek wash. Um, won't be a hot shower, but we'll... we'll do that before we change into our clean clothes. So we'll, we'll bring our soap and leave it in a bare can back at the trailhead. Compromises, right? Personally, this is what I'm doing. I just got tested the other day. Um, did the wonderful nose swab test. Um, I'll have my results before I go on the trip. So we'll know um, if, if any of us are infected or not. That's wonderful. There's still a chance that we could have gotten infected before we go in, the, in, our, in our car, because we are traveling together as a group. Um, the second thing, second thing I'm going to be doing is I'm treating this first week on the trail with them as one week of isolation, right? So if, if there was an, uh, if there's a chance that one of us infected each other on the trail, I've got one week of potential to show symptoms while I'm out there. Um, when I come back, I am going to take a second week and isolate from my parents. My parents are definitely in that at-risk group, so I'm going to take a little bit more time before I go see them again. Um, and then the other thing I did is had this really good discussion with my family. It's like, there are potential risks here. This is what I potentially could be exposing you to. What's your mindset on that? How do you feel about this? So those are all things that I personally had to do. Again, I want to reiterate that there is no right or wrong answer on this one. It's what's right for you. As long as you are making an informed decision, if your decision is, is based on science, because it, I, let's put it this way, I'm going to be blunt on this one. If you're an anti-masker, God help you. <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, consider the, your impact on others, right? So how might, how might I expect uh, impact the people I might come across on my travels? How am I going to impact the people when I come home? It's not just me. And then be aware that there is an increased personal risk. I think if you kind of take these things into consideration, you can make your own decision. Um, be safe. Happy trails.